I'm Dale Taldi, and I'm about to show you how to make a sweet potato casserole with a gingerbread cookie and pecan crumble. The first step to making this sweet potato casserole is to cook off the gingerbread cookies and to make them into a crumble. What I like to do is to take this out of the package, and we're gonna use just about a quarter of this and just smash it up to one layer then go into a 350 degree oven and we cook it for about eight minutes. It's cooked, but it still stays pliable because it's gonna get recooked later. So this is still hot. Instead of breaking my hands, I'm just gonna take a spoon and kind of break it off. And after we break up the gingerbread cookie, I'm just gonna place it here, let it cool, and we'll go back to it later. Recipe is really easy. I mean, it starts off with about four cups of sliced sweet potatoes. It takes a little bit of heavy whipping cream, about a cup of heavy whipping cream, Two large eggs, those really familiar holiday spices, a little bit of nutmeg, and a little bit of cinnamon, about a teaspoon each. We're gonna use a little bit of brown sugar. I like using brown sugar, it has that deep molasses -y flavor to it. And then a pinch of salt. So we give this a good mix, and then right into a oven-proof baking dish. Fill the baking dish with your sweet potatoes. Make sure it's all kind of level so it all cooks very evenly. And what we do is we bake this at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. The next part of this recipe is the gingerbread cookie and pecan crumble. So in this bowl, we have about four tablespoons of butter that we're gonna melt inside the microwave. The rest of the ingredients for the crumble are gingerbread cookies, a little bit more brown sugar, and pecans that we've uh, roughly chopped. This is gonna be basically the topping for our sweet potato casserole. Now that the butter's melted, we're gonna put together the rest of the ingredients. I love recipes that are kind of dump and stir, and this is one of them. So here's about four tablespoons of brown sugar, half a cup of toasted pecans, and our gingerbread cookies. This is about two cups of gingerbread cookies. We're just gonna give this a rough crumble into the bowl. You want pieces that are gonna distinguish that it was a cookie, um, but you also wanna break it up so it, it makes a, an even topping on top of the casserole. And just give this a nice little stir. So to check to see if the sweet potatoes are done, take a knife and just run them into the sweet potatoes. And if they come out clean, then the sweet potatoes are done. So the last 10 minutes of this cooking process is just basically taking our crumble and topping our sweet potatoes with this gingerbread pecan mixture. So this crumble needs 10 minutes to set up. So let's get this back in the oven. It's got nice and crusty. Potatoes are all cooked. You can really smell the gingerbread cookies and the pecans kind of working together. Let's spoon this up. There it is, guys. Sweet potato casserole with Pillsbury gingerbread cookie and pecan crumble.